Today we're going to be talking about carne asada. I call carne asada tacos the king of tacos. When done properly, these tacos are without a doubt the best thing you can possibly eat. Carne asada didn't exist before the Spanish and their introduction of domesticated animals. However, this taco is much more than a taco. It can be a standalone dish served with rice and beans. You can throw a carne asada, aka a fiesta that revolves around the serving of carne asada for food. This taco is a cultural institution. But where did it come from? When did it develop? Carne asada actually means flame grilled meat in Spanish. For authentic carne asada, you'll need to cook it over mesquite wood or charcoal. The mesquite tree has a very strongly flavored wood and grows throughout Mexico. The flavor of its smoke is important to authentic Mexican carne asada. The taco itself was developed by cattle ranchers. The hungry ranchers would quickly grill their meat over an open fire and then stuff it into a tortilla for a delicious meal. The meat that was used was a lesser cut of meat, the flank steak or preferably the skirt steak. It's a thin cut of meat so it could be cooked fast and the ranchers could get back to work. So now let's get back to work and see how we make these tacos. Let's we'll start by gathering our ingredients. You'll want to use a flank steak or a skirt steak for this application. Skirt steak is preferred, but flank is similar enough to do the job. We'll also need a lime, two oranges, four cloves of garlic that we're going to crush, about a cup of chopped cilantro, a rehydrated ancho chili pepper, and one teaspoon of Tucker's El Carino. We need to crush or smash four cloves of garlic and then peel them. And then cut our citrus in half. Rehydrate an ancho chili pepper in warm water. Chop about one cup of cilantro. So we have allowed our chili pepper to rehydrate for about five minutes in hot water. And if you can see, it's kind of plumped up and now it's pliable. And so what we're gonna do is chop that up and then begin to assemble our marinade. To assemble our marinade, we're going to combine all ingredients into a medium mixing bowl and then add that mixture to a large freezer bag that has the steak in it and let that marinate for about two hours in the refrigerator. When two hours has almost elapsed, you will want to heat your tortillas and prepare your garnishes. This preparation of meat requires it to go straight from the pan to the cutting board. Once our steak has marinated for at least two hours, we're going to want to get our skillet hot. So heat your cast iron skillet over medium to medium high heat. Add a couple of tablespoons of lard or avocado oil. If your cut of skirt steak is too large for the pan, you can cut it in half. Once your skillet is heated, add the steak. And allow to cook for about four minutes per side uh, to get a medium steak. After your steak is cooked, we need to take it directly to the cutting board for chopping and serving. Now let's cut our meat. With any of the tougher cuts of meat, you're gonna to have to slice against the grain to achieve tenderness. I like to cut mine across the grain and on a bias. In order to identify the grain of this piece of meat, what you wanna do is look for the fibers that go this way. And we wanna cut it this way. And that will give us our tenderness. And 
Then we'll need to chop the meat into smaller pieces for our tacos. Now that we have our meat cut, it's time to assemble our taco. I like my carne asada tacos simple. I want cilantro, onion, a dash of my favorite hot sauce on a corn tortilla. I have pickled carrots and a roasted pepper on the side. There's a reason they call that the king. That is the best taco that you could ever have. I know I've said that every time, but I love tacos. Carne asada taco is the absolute best. I think I'll have about six more. See you later.